Sunday's Memorial Day message. Um, and the POW was pray, prayer, obedience, and wait. All right. Prayer, obedience. That we are in, uh, well, hope by Jesus is marching all of But it's <coughs> believing or by believing, fallenness is temporary. And this whole business of life is perpetual celebration. And To have a funeral every day <laughs> for fallen soldiers. And I want to start where you left off with death, while it's specific, it's not final. And I want to just briefly speak to us where we are this sixth month of the year. Um, I think everybody who watches football or <coughs> basketball and if you have went to high school and especially during football season, there's a part called halftime. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now if you got some new clothes. <laughs> or it's a time when the action on the field has ceased and you can get up and uh, at Lakewood like them wings. <laughs> I was the only one because you had to wait. Amen. Uh, we go to the restroom <coughs> you see people who had to see. But you, you see them uh, and need in the talk is halftime because when they're on the field, the game got all your attention. And I say this is where we are in Philadelphia. We've had the first six months of this year. Here we are in June at halftime. And I, I, I speak this from the standpoint because we know in baseball you don't have no halftime. Amen. But I use the baseball metaphor to say where I am. And that is I'm on third base here. Mm. <laughs> right, man. Ready to go home. And the good thing about being on third base, <laughs> you're going home. Mm. That's right. And there ain't no doubt that you're going to be kicked off mm. or fooled or anything, especially you know you're going home because the bat is in Jesus' hand. Mm. Yeah. All right. All right, All right. All right. And mm. he is standing up there at home playing. Amen. Amen. And boy, that's a joy Amen. to see Jesus at home playing. Glory. And to know that I'm going to make it in. Yes. But until that time in Philadelphia, we are challenged with what's ahead of us. As 
we come out for the second half. I don't know what's going on in your life, but you know what's going on in your mm -hmm. life. They use the term insanity is when you do the same thing mm -hmm. over and over and expect a some new results. Result. Mm -hmm. When you're doing this, you're going to get the same results. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So in this halftime, let us make some changes. We can change All right. this around. All right. To call attention to the fact it's important that we look at ourselves and make some changes and get away from the same old, same old. Amen. And why is it important to make some changes? The psalmist called our attention to that 90th psalm. It's a psalm we know that Moses, they call it a prayer of Moses, the man of God. But really, and you hear read a lot, you know, I bet you hear a whole lot of eulogies from this psalm. But in the sense of understanding where we are and where we're to go from our halftime experience. Moses challenges us in the 12th verse of the 90th Psalm that I want to use as a text. Teach us to number our days carefully so that we may develop wisdom in our hearts. Teach us to number our days to take advantage of the time that you have because what we all got in common, every one of us woke up this morning with 24 hours mm -hmm. at our disposal. Thank God. Amen. Yeah. Amen, And he is God and, and and no respect to a person. He gave you your 24 and mine too. Mm -hmm. But the important thing and 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 and, and uh, Polk is, uh Helen's version says about not wasting or being mindful of the day. How did you start your morning? But the important thing is, from this, understand that when you go to bed at night and while you are asleep, that's your halftime. All right. All right. You don't know what in the world is going on, and when you wake up, you don't know what the rest of the game going to be about. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. That's right. But if you make it through the day, mm -hmm. you ought to thank God. Amen. Amen. And then Amen. make before your day every day so yes. that the next day Glorious. that you wake up, yes. thank you. Count your days. Yes, yes. Don't yes. let old beady eye cause you to focus on what ain't. If you are alive, you need to focus on what is. I am not one who embraces optimism. Optimism and pessimism, they're okay. But you see, optimism has a lot to do with how we feel. But hope in Jesus Christ is what I know. And he got up. He's alive. And every day is a memorial day. And if you count them. Amen. 
God has enabled us. Has given us a way to count these things. Amen. And I use what they call Bible hermeneutics and interpretation of the Bible. And biblical numerology. Think about it. Without the alphabet, we couldn't spell nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The alphabets make the language, and without the language, mm -hmm. we couldn't say nothing. Mm -hmm. Because you wouldn't know nothing to say, and others wouldn't be able to understand it because they're the same as us. That's right. And then, all those years, going to work, delayed a few times, some of it was deliberate. Mm -hmm. All right. And called and lied before I got there. <laughs> but the job was concerned about my time. Yeah. The eight hours, and, 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 and uh, that had to do with my pay. So I had to count them days. Yes. Yes. And especially when I didn't use up my sick time. Mm -hmm. I really got to count them days because they're going to take that other money from me. Right. <laughs> right. Amen. Yeah. So Lord, teach us to number our days. Don't, yeah. don't stop. Even in retirement, you got time. But you need to number your days. Amen. Amen. God has given us mm -hmm. a way to number our days. And I want to speak from the subject five, six, seven. Life between grace and heaven. All right, Amen. man. <laughs> Lord, teach us to number our days, and mm -hmm. I'm using numbers. Mm -hmm. When you leave here, may it stay in your mind that God, Moses, as he's getting ready to go home on his third base, he says, Lord, teach us. To number our days. Amen. Letting you know. He goes on down further in the psalm because when he said you start your day with prayer, do you know Moses was letting you know that prayers are answered in the morning? Right. Mm -hmm. Before you even get started, why it's so important to pray in the morning? Because when you pray in the morning, your prayers are answered in the morning. That's what Moses said. All right. All right. And that's the kind of wisdom that come from people on third base, people like me. All right, all right. I was just kidding. But uh, <laughs> we, the month of May, see everything that God does. I, I listened to the prayer of Annette, and she said, for little things, but do you know with God, everything is a big thing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And He wants you to know that when I just about closed the door to lock the keys up in the car, I thought about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I said, Thank, Thank you, Lord. You. Amen. Amen. That was a little thing. I, and, 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 and everything of God is a big thing when He comes to you because you are special to Him. And He wants you to know how special you are. By you understanding, he put you here for a while, got something for you to do, but you got to learn to get the wisdom from counting your days. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, redemption is about you. Amen. 
God loving you? Want to get you back to him from what they did in that garden? And what he wants to get you back. And the way back mm. is to have the faith and the trust to believe in him. Mm -hmm. you, you know what a pattern is? A pattern. A pattern. T-T-E-R-N. And I'm talking about when it comes to clothes and stuff. Oh, you know that? Okay. <laughs> I, I say that because my mama had three girls. Mm -hmm. And three girls. And she couldn't buy dresses for all of them. Amen. So she would go down to Syracuse. <laughs> you hear me say that? Go down to Syracuse and get some cloth and some pattern. All right, man. I can see that sewing machine in the hallway right now. Mm -hmm. 